Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be continuing our look at Power Automate. However, before we start, just to let you know, we're currently now using the Power Automate desktop application. So in previous videos, if you watched those, you'd have seen we were using Power Automate via office.com. Uh, whereas now we're gonna move over and start using the application. So if you haven't got that already on your machine, all you need to do is open up the Microsoft Store, search for Power Automate, at which point you'll be able to install the Power Automate app. Uh, for me at the moment, you can see it's given me the option to open because I've already got it installed. But for you, this is where you should see that download button so you can get the application installed on your machine. Once you've done that, all you need to do is open it up and it will be, be asked to sign in with your applicable Microsoft account. And you should be then presented with a screen similar to what we see now on mine. So as we've got no flows already created, obviously we're gonna get this blank page to get started with. So today's scenario is we have a folder, uh, which I've now brought on the screen, which contains a number of files with the date at which that file was captured. So the problem we face is that we need to provide a bit more information in the file name for these files. So this is actually sales data. But if you were to just look at them, you obviously don't know what you're looking at other than the day that the information was captured. So what I want to do is go through each of these files, renaming them to insert some text at the beginning. So I could just go through these and right click rename. At the front of each file, we'll type sales underscore, and I can repeat that process for as many uh, files that I have. In the scenario that we've got in front of us, there's only about 16 files. So it wouldn't take me that long to do, just to state the obvious. But if we've got hundreds of these files that we need to do this to, not only is it going to be considerably time consuming, but also it's just a very monotonous task that we don't want to do if we can help it. So we'll be using Power Automate to loop through all of these files and rename them as we require. So the first thing we need to do, other than obviously having our folder to hand with all of the files, is simply go back to Power Automate and create our new flow. So we're using, obviously we've got no existing flows at the moment, so we can either create a new flow either top left here or by clicking the blue button, new flow at the bottom. The first thing it's gonna ask us to do is provide a name for that flow. So let's call this rename files. Although you might want to call this something a bit more specific so that if you need to do a similar process to this, you're not gonna have a renaming issue. And we'll go into create. And you can see that we've got our flow now created for us on the page. Power Automate is now gonna automatically take us into the edit option for that flow so we can get started on creating this process. So if you are familiar with using Power Automate via office.com, then the layout is gonna look uh, slightly different. Hopefully you can, get the, you can understand the basic concepts, but you're gonna have a, quite a different layout in terms of your actions being down the left-hand side uh, and the general sort of panes that you have available. You don't need to get too concerned or worried about that because what we're, going to do, what we're going to be doing today is very simple and doesn't require you to focus on much of the, uh, the noise that's going on around it. So in our scenario, the first, there's only two steps that we need to do. The first one is to get all of the files um, available in the required folder and then go through and rename them. So the first thing we're gonna do is on the left-hand side here is expand our folder option, which contains all of the scenarios or the, all the actions to use the correct terms available to us. So the first thing we need to do is get files in folder. So all I'm gonna do is click, drag and drop into the center pane here. And you can see it's now gonna ask us to provide the folder that we want to look at. So all I'm gonna do is select this folder icon here and then just navigate to our required folder, which for us is going to be source files and select okay. And that is all we need to do. You could apply some file filters here. So if maybe uh, the, the required folder contained files that you do not want to be changing the name of, this is where you could uh, provide those such filters. But again, we're going to keep this nice and basic and we'll step over that for now. So next thing we do is go into save and we can see that that first step identified by number one here has been created and is ready to go. The next thing we need to do if we just uh, collapse our folder option there is we'll go into the file actions and we can see that there is an option nearly halfway down called rename files. So all we're gonna do again, click, drag and drop 
And you can see on the left here, or at the background, it's now created a step number two, and it's gonna be our rename file options. So for us, it's now the first piece of information we need to provide is what is the file we wish to rename? Well, we want to loop through each of the files that has been found in this previous step here. So all we need to do is this time go into the X here to select variable. And we can see that the flow variables in step number one is this is everything that's been captured. So all we need to do is make sure we've got this files option here selected, which is our list of files, and simply hit select. And what's going to happen now is when this step runs, it will just loop through every one of those files that was captured in that variable. So rename scheme. So from here, we have a number of options available to us. So we can add text to the name, we can remove text, replace text. So say you had finance in the name, but you wanted to rename that to sales, then obviously you could use this replace uh, text option here. And obviously there's a few other options that you can play around with if you show require. So for us, we're simply just adding text to our existing file name. So what we're gonna do is go add text, and in here, we just need to chain or say what text we'd like to add. So for us, it's gonna be sales with an underscore. And I've used the underscore there just so we get some separation between the sales and the date. Uh, if not, it all becomes one word and yeah, personal preference as well. But there you go, that's just how I like to work with it. And how do we want to add the text? So again, we can either add our text after the existing name. So for us, the date, or we can add it in front. And as you're probably aware of, we want to do it before. So we want to follow the template sales underscore and then the existing file name. Once we've done that, all we need to do is go on to save. And that is it. This is the two steps that we need in order to run our process. So what I'm gonna to do to try and get everything on the screen is let's just condense down our Power Automate window for us here. And we'll also open up our file explorer just so we get that on the side there, just like so. Cool, so as we stand at the moment, we can see that all of our files are currently got our, just the file name in them. However, as soon as we hit this run button, which is available to us here, we should hopefully see them update. So we should do that just now. So we hit in over here, run, and you can see that it's now loading, and hopefully down that right-hand side in our source files, there you go, it happened really quickly, but it's gone through all of those files, renaming them to our desired format. And you can see it's obviously retained each of the exist pre-existing names, which is the date for us in there as well. So as I think I mentioned at the start of the video, there's only 16 files in today's example. So we could have gone through and done those manually, but in the scenario that you had maybe hundreds of files in here, then this would be a great way of being going able, being able to go through and obviously rename them as you require. This is also a great flow that you might want to factor into other power automation um, flows, uh, such as when these files are being captured, or there could be 101 other scenarios in which you wish to use this. So I hope this answered your question, if this is what you were searching for, or you've just learned some new functionality that you previously weren't aware of, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you have watched our videos before and you have still yet to subscribe, please can I ask you to hit that subscribe button right now and also hit that bell notification button so you're notified of all of our future videos. If you do have any questions about the content of this video, do please just drop me a comment below this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.